Hi Matt lovers and creators of strong images. So if you want to know how to with just some simple clicks you can create the perfect eyes. This video is for you so check this out right after the intro. So guys the first thing we are going to do is we are going to apply an adjustment layer because when you apply an adjustment layer it immediately can be used with the blend modes. So since we are going to work with contrast etc we want to, to work out some details of the eyes I would recommend that you either use a curves adjustment layer or a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. So since it's a little bit easier to use I'm going to apply a contrast adjustment layer. So the next thing is we are going to change the blend mode from normal to linear dodge. Okay, it looks completely ridiculous right now. So I'm going to invert the mask by pressing Ctrl or Command I. And then we are going to just mask the eyes. So I'm going to change the size of the brush to the eyes. So it's, you can really check the, the edges of the brush, the softness to, to match everything. So I'm going to choose white by pressing X. So over here if you press X you're changing the colors and if you want to make sure you've got white and black and white selected you're just pressing D. So I'm having co uh, white collected. I'm, I will set the flow to 100% and click once over this eye and also once over this eye. Then I'm reducing the brush size to the size of the pupil. Pressing X again so I change the forward and background color. A little bit larger. Click here once so it's black again and click here once so it's also black again. So let's check the before and the after so I'm zooming out a little bit still looks completely like in a vampire movie right so it's before after before after so we will make it a little bit better in a second but i just want to show you how really beautifully just by changing the blend mode you are getting the details in the eyes right so it's really great so since the mask over here is not completely correct i will just use the black brush and make sure that only the eyeballs are being affected. Okay, so now to reduce the effect we can either work with the opacity over here, yeah, like putting it for 50% for example, so that's before, after, before, after, looks more natural again, before, no sorry, after, that's before, after, before, after, and what we can also do, if we keep the opacity to 100%, we can also work with the contrast and brightness. So I will work with contrast first. So it's getting a little bit more depth, right? And then I reduce the brightness. So as you can see, it's looking much better now before, sorry, before, after, before, after. It's a little bit much still, so I'm reducing it to about 75%, 77 before, after, before, after. So as you can see, it was very easy to work out these details in the first step with just some simple clicks. Okay, and it was very important for me that I didn't add anything to the eyes that wasn't there. So all we did was just working out what's available already. Just a remark, if you like this video so far, so a subscription would be highly appreciated because I'm working very hard on getting this channel going so I can concentrate to even more uh, on this channel to produce more videos like this. So let's continue. Now what you can see, if you move in closer there is this little triangle here right i think that's the inner eye reflection that's coming from over here so if you want to accentuate that one i will simply go with the opacity to 100 again and mask out the rest a bit so for that i'm using a brush again black foreground color but i will reduce the flow so and then i simply will does it get the effect of that part of the eye. 
So as you can see, I accentuated the triangle now before, after, before, after. So I move out again. As you can see, it's a little bit much right now, right? And also I have to apply the mask over here also so that it's equally applied on both eyes. So it's before, after, before, after. So and since a little bit much, I reduce it again to 80%. Now, if you want to change the colors of the eye also, it's very easy. So simply apply a hue saturation layer. And since you only want to affect the eyes, which are, or the, the part of the eyes, which are in this layer, you have to apply an, a clipping mask. So by right clicking, create clipping mask and which is indicated by this little arrow over here this means all the changes you are applying in this layer will all only be applied to this layer so if you want to change the color of the eyes to blue for example I will increase also the saturation a bit okay so now you've got blue eyes so and to show you the complete effect I click or select shift click both layers so I select them put them into a group so it's on off so before after before after moving in a bit before after before after and the beautiful thing about this using these these layers is really you just have to click once and it's applied you don't have to do a lot of detail work which you can do but it's accentuating the natural structure that are in the eyes already okay guys that's it again i hope you liked it if you do please like subscribe shoot me some comments and see you in the next video and never forget to listen to more heavy metal